He might have died under tragic circumstances which caught everybody off guard, but Kerry Phillips lived his life on the edge. He would have been right at home in these settings as they came out in droves to show their respect and appreciation for a man who always aimed to please as the king of drift in Trinidad and Tobago. Kerry was such a, I mean, if you know him personally, he is like, he is, uh, every time you see him, he's smiling, every time, you know, he's, he's this joyous person. If you're down, he make you, you know, he make you that, he bring all that joy into you. In fact, you couldn't find anyone to say anything ill about Philip, who lived his life to the full, but always aimed to please and push forward in his chosen sport. And he recognized that, okay, hey, you could do this thing. But it wasn't about just about um, doing it just to see how far, you know, um, how we could rival people. It was just to see, hey, you could do this thing that we've seen on the internet, right? We, get, we could do this, we, we're doing it. Yeah, I'm putting on a show and seeing the smiles on people's faces. It's almost as though those who gathered pumped up the volume a bit more as if trying to let Philip hear them. He meant so much to folks in the motor racing fraternity, but especially those dear devils in drifting. Kerry is an artist, right? And like most artists, they might be considered eccentric, but he's a master at drift, right? And he is the person who really introduced drifting into Trinidad. It was his dream to see it grow to the point and even further. I know we're going to continue that legacy of his and continue to push his sport adrift in Trinidad and Tobago. It goes without saying that Kerry will be missed, but he has left an indelible mark that will live on for some time. Oscar Mark, TDT Sports.